wow, it makes effort feel good. Males will notice an effect of Fidogia. It actually will increase testicular size somewhat and a density. Waking up feeling well enough to want to begin your day with enough energy to complete your day. It's interesting, blood work twice a year. I got really down the rabbit hole. Are you still taking the Tonkat Ali and the Fidogia Agrestis? And for those who are not familiar, because I think we may have made mention of this in our last conversation, but just in brief, what do these two things do? Tonkat Ali is an Indonesian ginseng. There's a Malaysian version too, but you want the Indonesian one if you want to pursue these effects, which are, it's known to decrease sex hormone binding globulin, which frees testosterone. Testosterone is associated with libido, ability and desire to generate effort, mood, et cetera, in men and women. Probably the best way to describe testosterone's effects, it makes effort feel good. Mm -hmm. So um, Tonga Ali frees up more testosterone. So it, mild libido enhancer for some, more extreme for others. Increases energy, will increase you know, feelings of well-being. And typically the dosages are 400 milligrams a day in single dose or divided doses with or without food taken early in the day before noon or 2 p.m. because it can increase energy. You don't want to disrupt your sleep. There are a number of good sources of it. We can provide links to a couple of those sources. And Fidogia agressus is a Nigerian shrub. It's taken from a Nigerian shrub and it stimulates the release of luteinizing hormone, which in women will stimulate anything that comes from downstream of luteinizing hormone in the ovary, so typically estrogen, maybe even testosterone to some extent. And in men, it will increase testosterone output from the testes by way mm -hmm. of increasing luteinizing hormone, maybe subtle increase in estrogen as well. This is important. Men hear that something increases estrogen, they go, oh, I don't want that. Well, keep in mind that if you flatline your estrogen, so if men are taking an astrazole or crushing their estrogen, their libido is going to be zero. Their cognitive ability will be diminished. Estrogen yeah. is important in both men and also women. Also cardioprotective, isn't it? Cardioprotective. Fidogia agrestis is typically taken in dosages of 300 to 600 milligrams per day with or without food. Doesn't seem to matter if it's early day, late day. There's some evidence that in rats, it can be toxic to the testicular tissue, but that's in very, very high concentrations. And the, it's interesting, the, the number of studies on humans for both Tonga Ali and Fidoja have greatly expanded since our last conversation. Mm -hmm. And especially for Tonga Ali, there's quite good support. Safety margins are good within the dosage ranges that we've talked about. I've heard of people taking up to a gram a day of Tonga Ali. That just makes me cringe. I think taking herbal compounds in very high concentrations is going to be risky no matter what, because these things can trigger immune responses. So, you know, 400 milligrams of Tonga Ali, 300, 600 milligrams of Fidogia taken daily should be fine. I don't cycle them and never have. Some people cycle the Fidogia because Why they're afraid. Not? Why don't I cycle them? Yeah, because they I'm, just I'm, keep working. <laughs> <laughs> I do blood work twice a year. Yeah. Liver enzymes are included there. I got really down the rabbit hole, interesting figure of speech, of <laughs> sperm analysis, including everything from DNA fragmentation to how to increase sperm numbers and motility and quality and egg quality. I so got, you're a gambling man. If you're yeah. making your swimmers world class, but yeah. you don't want kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all about readiness, I suppose. <laughs> so I've been monitoring sperm parameters. So I don't cycle them because I haven't felt a need to or seen okay. a need to. Some people choose to just take a week off from Fredoji every once in a while or go five days on, two days off. You know, people should do what makes them comfortable. Males will notice an effect of Fredoji. It actually will increase testicular size somewhat and a density. Mm -hmm. And that's just because of the increase of the LH luteinizing hormone so is going to stimulate like avocado them. pits. Just <laughs> hanging between it, the legs. It's going to depend on where you start. <laughs> and it will do a number of things related to increasing luteinizing hormone. Tonga Ali and Fidogia Agrestis, I think represent a good place to start.